this is the uh, piece I put together on my blog on Tuesday. I'll put a link in this post in case you didn't see that. And I want to, I'm itching to stitch on it of an evening. Now I did promise you that I would work on it in conjunction with you, which I will. But I'll also let myself loose on it a bit at night. But I think I've basted it, <coughs> tacked all this down. So I think what I'm going to do is just do one row of running stitch here. I don't need it in a hoop for running stitch. So just to do my first bit of stitching on it with you. And then tonight I may put some bullion loops on this. And it might be that I don't finish those and that I come back and finish those with you. I hope that's okay with you. Because I did say that I would work on it with you. But I didn't promise that I'd be able to keep my hands off it in the meantime, did I? So if I just do some little running stitches along here. Something very simple here. And as you probably know, I'm a bit of a, a bullion loop addict. So, what you may find, if I do this along here, I'm trying to keep some line on this cloth. I mean, surely I can't go wrong if I do that. But what you may find, is that I start to put bullion loop droplets down there, like these that are on Helen's bag, these ones. So I'm probably going to start putting them down there tonight. But if I do this first line of running stitch on here, then I can remove that bursting. I don't do running stitch in a hoop, I just hold it in my hand, it's, I find it easier to do it that way. There's very little that I find easier to work without a hoop and this is one of those things that I prefer to do out of the hoop. So you're being spoiled with videos this week because this will be your third one this week. But I don't mind if you don't mind. It actually helps me because I've not have got a lot of time at the moment for intensive embroidery in terms of like four or five hours of an evening. So I would be struggling for new things to show you if I wasn't making these little videos. So it's actually better for me in a lot of ways. Um, and there's only going to be white thread on this, so I'm not going to be using any coloured thread. So it'll be cotton abroader throughout. And then I'm not really sure what I'll do with it. Um, I do know that this will be coming off, this bit. Um, and it's going to be a bit tricky maybe at a damp stretch, but... I'll worry about that when the time comes. There will be a way around that anyway. So... So I'm almost at the end here and then I can take that basting out later. I mean, how long this will take me to finish? is completely dependent on how much embellishment I decide to put on it. And that will, that decision, will just happen as I go. Um, when I think there's enough, there's enough. But equally, if I think it needs more, I'll add more. So. So back and fasten off and then I can remove that base in later. So that didn't take long, did it? The bullion loops will take longer obviously. Because they're more, there's more going on there. Just thread this through here, no it doesn't.
there. So that was pretty quick and simple. So I need to take the basting out. And like I said, there'll be probably bullion loops going on down here tonight. So that now I've done that with you, I feel less mean doing starting the bullion loops without you. Okay.